Yeah. Everything's up. How's it? Hang loose. It's Halloween. All Hallows E. All Hallows Day Eve before I'll say anything. In the morning. And yeah, I just found out something disconcerting. I've been putting up prolific videos, so like something would happen, you know, it's like every day prolific videos. Turns out you only get so much room up on YouTube, so there, I, after three months, I got no videos. Like I'm only three months old. So all those other videos from a long time ago, they're gone. So I know, you know, hey, thanks for subscribing and doing the viewer, trying to get view hours and stuff like that and all that, right? But, oh man, you know, I thought there was going to be, but no, rude awakening, right? Holy crap. Man. So wow, welcome to a Halloween special round. Give no Yeah, I'm wearing a shirt. What? <laughs> so yeah, and I go upstairs and the witch okay, I'll tell you right off stuff. So the witch is a niece. She's forty years old and she's got a bastard child. And she sucks up all the money from my mom, and I'm a caregiver for my mom. And I've never seen someone, if she suffers from, she, I don't know, you know, you could classify it as demonic possession or witchcraft stuff. It does fit the category. But basically, ladies and gentlemen, it's narcissistic personality disorder, malignant narcissistic personality disorder. And all of that. My mom is like falling under this spell of enchantment. Okay, it's all right. And then she covers for her. I want her to, I want to do that for her. In the meantime, this one is just like a vampire sucking out. This house can go under financial house of cards because of that one person. But, and Damn, there's like injustices in the world, you know, so burn the witch. That's right. So, if say witch, that's what I'm talking about. Malignant personality, narcissistic personality disorder. Now, I look pretty in the mirror, I'm a narcissist. No, malignant narcissistic personality disorder. Freaking. And now, good morning. Have a fucking wonderful day. Should I swear? I don't care. I'm not even monetized. Really? Go down, crypto channel, you know, I do cryptocurrency stuff, but I got a little bit of crypto, but I got a wallet, so you can support the channel. Me. <laughs> I'm the one doing this. Mm. I'm so freaking, I feel so maligned. You, and you, and you, and you. You hear upstairs, right? That could be my sister. My sister lives in this very saving grace. The only other... S my mom's sane except for that one part. That come it's okay. She left... She threw out a... Uh, she throws other people's stuff out. Because she's manic. She gets manic phases. These fits. If you interrupt her, it's a fit. But she throws out other people's stuff to make room for herself. And she's germophobic. That's my only saving grace. I love it. She's germophobic before the virus, before the pandemic. She's germophobic. Like, cause it's like some of meth vacuuming. It's not clean. It's not clean freak. It's beyond that. It's psycho. And so she's germophobic in the midst of a pandemic. Curse her, curse her. Instant karma. Welcome to Halloween. Okay. Let's see what's in the newspaper. Back up to the... Whatever. Who cares? All my other videos are gone. This is Mongoose Max. Hello. And this is the series newspaper. We check out the morning newspaper. Now I don't care. But it's 
October 31st, the year 2020. It is Honolulu, and it's an only newspaper, so tell me if it's a monopoly or not. I don't know. I have this on record, so if you ever want, like, I gotta figure out a cheap boom mic. If you ever want, like, boom stuff, go, uh, I don't know, rig something up. And I figured out good audio. You can get it from Zoom. Yeah, I'm going to promote Zoom. Just record something on Zoom and use the audio. And the other one is like screen capture. Some screen captures have good audio. So if you don't have good audio equipment, just use that in the background in the front of your laptop. You got audio. Okay? And if you don't have an editing program, I don't know what to tell you. Pick your nose. So missile tests to protect Hawaii. Okay, 51 people got infected as of yesterday count. Big deal. It's low. 2.1%. It's low. I don't know if they, you know, fudge the numbers. I really don't. Conspiracy theories, hey, you could be right. I don't care that much. Not right now, anyway. You could be right. You could be wrong. But when it's difficult to prove, so what? So, 2.1%. It's under the 5%. Eh. Hey, they could be fudging the numbers. I like the thing, and they, oh, don't get tested. They're promoting don't get tested to purposely fudge numbers. That's like soccer moms on the mainland. I don't know. Tourists, go home. Ooh, oh, he said something controversial. Okay, look at this missile test to protect Hawaii. Remember the crazy person in, in that, um, whatever, Korean country? The North Korean one? He's got nukes. Or at least he thinks he's got nukes. He's professing he's got nukes. Who cares? We're all gonna die in a nuclear war. And crap like a pandemic can spark that on. Not to be firing up anyone's scare. This time yet, this fall, the U.S. Missile Defense Agency says it plans to test the first time a new sharp named ship-based interceptor Finally, I already thought they already had interceptor missiles. I thought, if they fired a missile, well, we got something that'll intercept it and they'll never get here. You know what? No, they don't. Now they're testing it for the first time. What the f***? Defense of Hawaii. Oh, 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 God, yeah, black deals. Yeah, they're trying to sell me something. Stop trying to sell me something. I don't got money. F*** you. <laughs> Emails, emails, so many emails, I can't stand it. <sighs> okay, we're enough of that bullshit. They should have done that like freaking 40 years ago. I thought they already had that done. Back in the day, oh, who cares? I don't, I don't want your little kids. I don't like your little kids. I think overly proud parents are like one of the freaking scourges of the world. Look at the one upstairs. She had a baby just to scam money off of people. Ah, you're not fooling me. Get away. Campaign. Eh, yeah, yeah. Who cares? I already voted. It's all going to hell anyway. It's the hell in a handbasket. Measure would decriminalize the use of drugs. Yeah. Leave some of them illegal. Like meth. And prescription drugs. Keep them out of psychos. Just keep them in the hands of psychos. And guns and prescription medication. Don't give them to the freaking psychopaths. Immigrant kids cross here as you guys are good with Barry. Ah, okay. oh, God. You get immigrants going over with COVID. Mm -hmm. Hurricane hit island like a bomb. Well, eh. No, I'm island, Louisiana. Yeah, I'm sorry about my friend. My friend's from Louisiana. She passed away earlier this year. I'm going to remember her on the Day of the Dead. I remember her on All Saints Day and All Souls Day. She was one of the greatest people I've ever met, loving, and she would battle freaking wicked people. And she'd always tell me, don't, don't, don't let them pave you over. Screw this stuff. You know, school looks for ways to gauge learning loss. How about read a book? Have your parents actually take some responsibility to teach your freaking child. Damn you. <laughs> Have a nice day. A former teacher. Clues sought in early voting numbers. Who cares? Oh, oh, here's our, uh... Freaking things. I'm not a happy camper. And I don't care. Oh, this is booze, booze and booze. Booze and voices. Views and voices. 
Vote for this, vote for this. She gave me her anti-anxiety pills by mistake. See, they have a political cartoon against giving away prescription medication as Halloween candy. This is a deaf world. A world that the Pope was right. It's a deaf culture. So, forgive me for putting out a video about a freaking demon-possessed. That's, that's what they are. They're demon-possessed. I swear to God. Mm. I better not swear. I got three audio tracks. I'm trying to get one that works. Protect Kahuna or Kapuna from potentially toxic fumes. Don't Trump Sarka. Racial equality. Hop a black. Oh, God. Let's try this one. Oh. Uh, UHP suit over arrest. Huh? Uh, your reform arrest had a 15 year old boy at a child's high school. Full view of teacher. Shackled him by his hands and feet and put him in a locked cell. Boy had been bullied. Boy had been bullied and forced to fight the son of one of the officers. <gasps> one of the officers is one of the parents. P T A H P B. Oh man, that's so screwed. I don't even want to freaking read the rest of that. That's just majorly screwed up. To hell with these people, man. I swear to God. Um, oops. That wasn't even the one I'm looking for. I'm looking for ones that people sent in. Here. <clears throat> Good God. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Hang loose, hang loose. Damn you all to hell, you did it, didn't you? You finally did it. Damn you all to hell. Playing the apes? Too soon? Maybe too late. Probably too late. Oh God, what time do we got? I don't know. I don't care. What the hell? Why, why, why would not keep a nice and trim tidy? So, so if you don't have, if you have short attention span, I'm terribly sorry. You're probably gone by now. So so what? <laughs> Mahalo Nui Loa to Andrew Gomez for his front page story in Chinatown Senior Affordable Housing Plan. Cite the friggin' article. Yeah, wow. Did your teacher tell you how to do that? Did you put a little footnote in there? Where'd you get your source material from? Scary you. In this time of pandemic. Now just add that to everything you're ever gonna freaking write. You know, even if you say it. Say that. Add it to the, what you ever write. Add it before you say something. You know, before you say pass the salt. Say, in this time of pandemic, could you please pass the salt? F you people. Don't blame me on the virus all the time. It's like, in this pen, like I'm supposed to weep for you? Like it's not a part of my life? What the hell? In this time of pandemic, we're learning more and more about the airborne spread of virus and disease. Yeah, if you don't know that by now, you should have learned that within the first two or three weeks of this thing coming over into this freaking country. Airborne. It's spread. It's spread fast. It can be lethal. Oh, everyone's playing down the numbers. Oh, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a percentage. Don't play it down. It can get you. And if it gets you, it can wipe out your body. You could be the big muscle builder. It can wipe out your body. It's happened. It can kill you in your 30s, in your teens. Kids, teens, elderly. It kills. And it doesn't, like, tell you how. Except it ruins your life. Oh, get you. oh, God. No, go out there. Suck it up. Suck up the virus. Roll the bones. Dance with the devil. The idea of housing in our most vulnerable kapuna, that's old people. They make like they freaking uh, revere old people and revere the future, the cakey children. Not really. Not really. They use their children to manipulate other people. And the old people, oh, there's caregivers like me who don't get jacked. They don't get paid. They're good at nothing. Our lives are going down, man. Down the tubes. Nothing. We're going to be broke homeless someday. Because, as a caregiver, because, you know, the, the other people, they want to keep their job and shove their kapuna in our old folks' home. Oh, that's good. Uh, the care is better. What do you think? Just think about it. Think of where you live. Think of where you're called home. And somebody plucks you out of home. 
and shoves you in a place with other old people waiting to die. To die. And the nurse is coming in going, I'm tired of this. I can't wait for them to die. Oh, here's the wrong medication. Oopsie. No one will know. It was the COVID. In this time of the pandemic, things happen. Even the idea of a most vulnerable component in the past of potentially toxic emissions, which can enter the lungs, deserve community scrutiny and costs, especially now as recent as we have seen the effects of insufficient protective measures in our senior care facilities. They're talking about this affordable care plan. They're talking about a building that was built next to a, he says, crematory. I don't know where you get creamery from, this creamery? Creamer? It's crematorium. Get with it. Have a freaking brain. You know, God gave you a brain, freaking use it. You know, it's crematorium. That's where they burn people into ashes. It takes about 2,000, 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit. It takes like hours. The bones don't get all the way burned up. And you get about this much ashes. And they give it to you and they go, here. It's up to you to put it in an expensive little freaking box. Put it in the cola box. Ugh. Put it in the jar. Put it in the coffee can. But just think about it. That's all you are when you die. A freaking bag of ashes. Because if you get buried, you're just irresponsible for taking up all that space. The world's 8 billion people. It's going to go 9 billion people like that. And you're taking up space with your dead body. What for? And besides, who's going to visit you after you die? Did you ever go to a cemetery? I go to a cemetery every weekend. Every weekend weekend i look over and i think how many dead people are there thousands of dead people thousands no one's hardly anyone there's like three or four living people thousands of, you know when you die no one's going to remember you in your mind barely well, it's going to be so small that kind of you're not going to be remembered oh i live on in people's memory huh, good luck people forget about stuff they get over it it's grief it feels bad they don't want to think about it they're going to forget you. All those people, they're dead in the ground. Huh? They're dead. They're in the ground. You go to the... I, went, I walked through it. You know, here, here's a ghost story. You know, I was in Waikiki. There was drugs and drinking. And, and I didn't have a car because it's a long story. So I destroyed my car. And I was walking home. And it was past the bus hours. So I was walking shortcut through the graveyard. Hmm. I can believe that, like 2 o'clock in the morning by then. And I'm walking through the graveyard. That one, the one I go to every week now. There's no tombstones upright, they're all flat. Diamond Head Memorial. And I felt this eerie thing. I thought it would be scary. It wasn't scary. It wasn't scary. It was like welcoming, inviting feeling. It felt like everybody dead there was like, Oh, hi. Thanks for coming to visit us. Oh, hi. How you doing? Everything. It felt like that. I mean, you know, like hands coming out of the, out of the ground. <laughs> Seeing movies. Almost like that. Except it was, hi. Uh, that's what it felt like. All the way to the graveyard. I got out of the graveyard. It didn't feel like that. In the graveyard, it felt like that. Honest, honest engine. Now let's look over another stupid story. Because living people, you know, don't be afraid of dead people. Be afraid of the living people. Oh, do be afraid of dead people if you try to contact them. Because if you try to contact dead people, oh, my sad, my poor, poor loved one died. I will contact them. You'll be talking to a demon in a heartbeat. You don't work that way. You don't talk to the dead and they tell you stuff. No. If you talk to some, if you talk to the dead, that's what's called necromancy or spiritualism. You're talking like the Ouija board spiritualism, not like 12-step spiritualism, the Ouija board stuff. You talk to the expecting answers, you're going to get answers from demonic spirits. So you're not talking to your dead relative, you're talking to a fucking devil. <laughs> Who's connected to good old Satan? Old Scratch? Yeah. <clears throat> That's why don't play with the Ouija boards. Does Trump support people of color too? Who gives a crap? He's probably a racist. I mean, he kind of acts like it, but uh, what does he do in his policy? Keep your mind on what he does in his policy. Forget his character. 
Everyone's trying really hard to. I have some disagree with color of Asian the Trump rallies in Har here in Honolulu and they often have a huge truck the 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 hunk enthusiasm that's crazy. I get it that they are the because there's just Trump supporters here. I mean, God rest your soul. I mean may God have mercy on your souls. And hawk with enthusiasm to drive past each other on these rallies. The driving past in rallies. Oh, jumpy, go, go, go. Are you seriously serious? But whatever. Hey, your choice is free. It's, it's supposed to be free to freedom of, you know, country. And you have five to honk with your enthusiasm to drive past each other on these rallies. I get it that they like Donald Trump, but they have they ever stopped to consider what he thinks of them? Just asking. Sikaran Krishna. Oh, so what? Are you from India? I'm not exactly completely unracist. I don't think anyone is. But, you know, when people promote their race, expecting you to be welcoming and overly accommodating, and they're a holes, forget that. You're an a hole, you're an a hole. Hell's full of a holes. Heaven, cool people. Think like that. That's what I would suggest. But don't listen to me telling you what to do. Screw you. Racial equality and hop out. Jeez, no more racial stuff. I strongly believe in racial equality as a goal for our nation. It's equal under the law, equal treatment under the law. But you can't expect everyone to be kissy ass to everybody. Oh, that, oh, let me, let me learn all about your culture. What about my culture? Screw you. I don't know who gives a crap about. People say white people. They don't go, oh, are you Hungarian? Or are you Italian? Or are you, no, they don't do that. They just go white. So, everyone gets it in the end. Clint Eastwood was right. Everyone gets it in the end. Or, or if you watch my freaking watch the Robbie exorcism of Robbie, it's a true exorcism. The one that's most true, most documented. And the devil always says through him, stick it up your ass. <laughs> Look at that. Come on, Harris is Jamaican black. Oh, God, is Jamaican black and Indian Asian now ready for who cares? Oh, you're so multi freaking cultural. Did, has she ever been to Jamaica? Right? Is she down there in Jamaica going with the, you know, black issues in Jamaica? Is she in India? Right? Is she over there doing that stuff? She, she traces her heritage. She took the freaking uh, DNA test and all of a sudden everyone in that that's covered in her DNA test is supporting her. <laughs> you think everyone supported? Look, I took a DNA test of me, man. It would be half Italian in the Roman side, so I'm pretty much like Roman, and the other half is like crazy. It's like German and Celtish and freaking all. I'd be like, if I was living back then with those people, I don't know. I'd probably be some type of witch doctor. I don't know. I guess. Kamala Harris, <clears throat> the world would be just to, just to survive, to stay alive, and to get money and food and shelter. Be, if you don't be nice to me, the curses will be up to you. The curses will be on you. <laughs> up your ass. Damn the witch. Burn the witch. The world's so much better now if everyone just realized that all cultures and ethnicities should be respected. Yeah, that's my culture, so respect it. All cultures and ethnicities should be respected, and some of its best members of the human race are a harmony of two cultures. Ah, some of the best members of the human race are a harmony of two cultures. As is to say, your mommy and daddy were from a different culture. God. Greg Kukome. Oh, God. I don't know. What you gotta, what you gotta do is cue up the old, you know, Coca-Cola song. I like to teach the world to sing, and then top on that. Oh, well, we are the world. We are the stupid. Oh God. Yeah. <clears throat> truly, there's gotta be barriers, and truly, you gotta keep a sense of tribe, because if you try to force this complete homogenous stuff, you're gonna have problems up the ass 
because you're not going to have a culture and you're not going to have a sense of culture or a sense of place and you're not going to have a culture you're going to have what's basically anarchy in the culture world you won't have this culture and that culture you'll have a mess a chaotic anarchy so with that and no newspaper and so what so what? So what? So what? So what? So what? <laughs> These are somebody else's toys. So screw them. Reporting for duty, Commander. Yeah, I rescued you out of the trash. Orders received. Go back to the trash. Mission is a go. Are you white trash? Let's move. <laughs> bonkered out my whole freaking thing. So, have a good Halloween. Relax. And aloha. Awaiting orders, Commander. Sure you are. Sure you are. Yeah.